Welcome to a special episode of Pixel Art News because we're going to look at the Pixelated Festival. Also known as Pixelated Adventures, this is a Steam festival organized by Brave at Night, the developer behind Yes Your Grace. And oh boy, goodness, this is such a treat because they have collected so many games. Over 200 released games, lots of them on sale and also top upcoming releases. We're gonna be looking at this section today. Now the full lineup is simply too massive to go over all of the games. There's 185 games upcoming and we have already narrowed it down on yesterday's Twitch stream. Follow me there if you want to hang out. If you're game didn't make it in don't worry my game pixel art academy also didn't make it in each page of the festival is organized into these neat little categories retro adventures rural adventures fantasy adventures and on and on and on i'm gonna pick at least one from each category and we're gonna go from bottom up we're gonna start with dystopian adventures where we're gonna look at nocturne Nocturne is some sort of rhythm game, but it has all of these adventure elements where you walk around the scenes and those are the ones, the things that I find impressive. This little big environments, just immersive. I love these kind of massive art pieces where every screen just looks like a unique environment. From Dystopian Adventures, we go up into Surreal Adventures and we're gonna look at three titles here. Intravenous 2, now this is very interesting for me. It's a top-down graphical projection which we don't see that much. Since GTA 1 and 2, we have Hotline Miami, we have some other titles. Still very rare stuff and the shading in this have this hd effects dynamic lighting going all across the board very well done very immersive next up is the drifter it has a lot of these very handcrafted scenes very chunky pixels goes down to low resolution i love when pixel art shows that it's pixel art really good animation just impressive scenes Look at this, just every scene just captures my imagination. Streets of Rogue 2, no stranger to this channel. Artist on this, one of many, is CMG Mo. You can see it when you look at these trees. So the art assets themselves here are very, very well done. Next up from Futuristic Adventures, we're going to look at Extra Coin. Extra Coin went a little bit above because it has this HD 2D style. There's these two kind of ways to go about it. One is with normal orthographic camera 2D tiles with just a shit ton of stuff, special effects and such. And the most prominent one is when everything is in perspective. It's such a good art style for making you immersed into the environment. Extra coin done in perspective HD 2D. We're moving into the mysterious adventure section. Inspector Waffles will be our first contender here. Very, very chunky stuff. Game Boy Color inspired. And it just makes me so fuzzy thinking that I'm back in the days playing these low resolution video games. Ah, yes, and now with Sophie Starlight Whispers, we go into the other kind of HD 2D thing that I was going about. A lot of effects, strong parallax layers. There's this blurred foreground that just works so well. Usually parallax will be just background stuff, but this foreground just works so well at giving depth and framing the image, the environment. On top of that, just the colors so dramatic so enticing it just pulls me in with some sort of magic just the scenes the composition the lighting the everything that they are able to create with sophie starlight whispers is just next level stuff in the post apocalyptic adventures we're gonna look at deadlock station it has just really very clean cluster work so very well executed sprites. I love these big character illustrations that they have gone in some of these scenes. 
sci-fi adventures. Clockwork Ambrosia just has this epic environment where the game is put into when the camera opens up and you get to see the lush backgrounds. That's when I really get immersed into this world. A lot of it happens up in the sky, which is epic on its own. Just love little cloud backgrounds. This is very well executed pixel work, clusters and everything. And we're already in the cozy category where I said Pixel Art Academy does not work as impressive as other games. Like Spilled, with its latest graphic update, it just catapulted it up the ranks with this great shader work magic. Now, it is a pixelated game. It doesn't have the pixel control you would have if this were pixel art assets but the environments are just so lush the color selection wonderful the water effects especially once the water gets cleaned so well done it just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy looking at these scenes ah primal planet I love this so much, just like previously with the Drifter, very small resolution, chunky stuff, big environments, very nicely done tiles, and it has dinosaurs, dinosaurs, they're just epic and impressive on its own right. And we are off into the dungeons, where we are going to look at Sacrifier. I think we might have gotten a winner here, how to impress me. These environments are just massive. This is the perspective HD 2D style. It is just so epic. All of these sprites in these beautifully modeled places. Really well done lighting. Just everything feels so smooth. The settings itself feels very fresh. And then when it gets to these outside environments, oof. It's just, just so impressive. Look at this rich world. And in a very similar manner, in the cyberpunk adventures, replaced. Ah, replaced. Just a little bit too derivative of the last night, which started this genre back in 2017 at this high level of execution. You've watched Pixel Art News before, you know there was games like Hercules before who did this. But the last night really set up the standards and replaced, really meets those standards, at least the 2017 last night. So some scenes are just a little bit too copied from the way the last night introduced. They're again in the same sort of cyberpunk section which is not to say that others also aren't doing that it's just that i probably don't know about it now there's no beef between these two games as far as i understand the, the drama is done more on the player section so yes replace it deserves its place it's just mind-blowing once you see it and since we're already so deep now in this perspective HD 2D genre in medieval adventures. Yes, your great snowfall. It's just another top level game done in this art style. Now you can see how easy I am to be impressed by this, but it really embodies everything I'm looking for. It has huge environments that really make you feel immersed. It has these special effects, a new art style they're pushing this boundary of what used to be pixel art and exploring, experimenting, what more can be done. They're staying true to the original Yes Your Grace, so they're as much copying themselves as they are venturing into this HD 2D style and they're executing it just flawlessly. But we have more titles in the medieval category, Frog Rain being one of them. This game is very dark, but what is there is done really, really well. The backgrounds that you do see through the darkness are really well executed. It all works together very well to serve the gameplay where you want to see the platforms and just creates this very moody, great atmosphere. Finally, we look at Beloved Rapture, an homage to the 16-bit era, that kind of SNES style. Even though it's tile-based, the tiles are just so well done. It also has this huge overhang section where you see into the backgrounds. Nice character work, beautiful water. Yep, this is just 
a level and now we're getting into the one of the most popular categories fantasy adventures there's just so many pages of this there's gonna be quite many titles here like die in the dungeon extra points four double pixel outline style which is quite rare very clean clusters on everything so really well execution Akatori yet another one in perspective HD 2D this one much more of an anime vibe with very lush colors gotta give you that Ghibli vibes so really really well done next up dead weight look at this picture oh just beautiful illustration I had to show it to you separately because for some reason they didn't put it into the trailer but it reveals all of these very very interesting environments up in the air really well executed especially these ship sprites are super impressive ah arco the child of franek and the other team members but pixel art franek when it comes down to these huge scenes and environments when you're exploring the game world such impressive stuff really makes me want to just inhabit all of these worlds such spectacular scenes Bloom Town has this beautiful environment, very well executed with really good lighting and the battle scenes where things get to be seen in perspective just really work well to get me immersed into this world. Very good execution. Last one in the fantasy section we have God Shard Chronicles and this is just the best tier 16-bit era this is just absolutely amazing sprite work the detail level is so incredibly rich every sprite so meticulously crafted the big creatures mind-blowing even has this anime cutscenes which were not what we're talking about today even those are super well done but when it comes to this 16-bit era style without any special effects this is just as good as it gets we are down to the last two categories with rural adventures first we're gonna look at tinkerlands and this is just so so smooth i just love this kind of experimentation with ambient occlusion shadows underneath very interesting shading little wobbly shader effects on the sprites now hermit and pig i have to say is something completely different out there compared to the other titles but i still had to put it in because it just shows being true to itself finding its own voice not really going along with any other pixel art standards so for this alone i find it impressive it just tries something different it's its own thing so while it's relatively quite simple from a technical perspective it just has a ton of style and we are down to the last category the retro adventures starting with the crimson diamond i've talked about this game on pixel art news before so you know i just love 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 it's ega throwback we have the dithering of the old school variety that is used to create new colors so everything looks a little bit rugged all over the place has really well done interiors they just make everything look so rich and even though everything is a little bit closed in it does have exteriors to give it that much more variety everything in this game is just executed to such high level within the ega limitations coin of vice definitely know how to get me excited with all of these special effects happening and the sprites in single colors reminiscent of the zx spectrum and the saturation of everything it definitely plays to the notes that i like it has the bloom it has the scan lines works on my nostalgia and finally we're gonna end with tenjutsu which we also talked about it was presented at the devolver digital showcase and this one too is the hd 2d of the orthogonal variety so just normal 2d game but with all of the special effects very smooth animation impressive shading very immersive lighting work 
So definitely go on to the Pixelated Adventures Steam Festival site yourself. Check out all the games on sale. I'll try all the ones that have a free demo. Look into the genres, into the settings that you like most and are interested in. There is just so many great games out there. You have to find the one that speaks to you. And thank you so much to the pixelated adventures to Brave at Night for organizing this. It was a complete pleasure to go through all of this. I hope you will have something to play and I will see you in the next one.